What a delight to be here today and to see all of you. Not only is this Mother's Day, but it's also Women's Day. And we are here to honor and to appreciate every single woman here today. First of all, I'd like all of you ladies to stand, please. Every lady, girl, um, stand up, please, no matter your age. We want to give the men an opportunity to applaud each and every one of you today. Thank you. You may be seated. There are several women's ministries here at Praise Assembly, and Adria is going to share one of them with us right now. Good morning, everyone. Happy Mother's Day, moms. Helping Hands is a ministry within our church where we join together to help one another in trying times. If you're facing an illness or a surgery or you have a new baby and need some meals or you need some help at your home, we want to help you. We want to reach out and we want to do things for you in order to get you through those times. Um, we do our best with, along with our volunteers to serve you. With Helping Hands, we are trying to build a community within our church, so we also have a Facebook page. And it's called Helping Hands of Praise. And we ask that you join that and you use it. Maybe if you need a babysitter, you can reach out on the page and ask for a sitter. If you have a child that babysits, you can offer their services on the page. Um, maybe if you've got some clothes your kid's grown out of, before just donating them to Goodwill, maybe somebody in the church could use them and you could bless somebody that way. So please use it to try to bring us closer together. We'd also love to have more volunteers. We know everybody's life is busy, so if you can't make a homemade meal, that's okay. You can donate a gift card. That is a huge, huge help to new moms and people that have gone through surgery and are stuck at home. So we ask that you, know, you please join out at the concierge desk. There is a sign-up sheet. Please sign up. You don't need to volunteer to do something every single time. If we have a lot of people that can help us, then it doesn't take many people each time. Um, I think that's all. It's a blessing to be a blessing, so please join us in this ministry. Thanks. Thank you, Adria. Charlene Fafakis leads a ministry also, and she was not able to be here today. So I'm going to let you know about the card ministry and the prayer chain ministry. So if you have a prayer need, you can contact Charlene. And we have the information at the information desk that you can sign the clipboard if you want to be a part of that. So she sends out an email whenever there is a prayer need, and if you receive that email, then you can pray for that person and whatever that need might be. And, or also send out a card for someone who's sick or just had a baby. So she provides that information. So you can check that um, clipboard in the back if you're interested in becoming a part of that ministry. We also have a monthly breakfast and a Bible study on the second Saturday of each month from September to May. So we do take the summer off, but there are activities at times then as well. We'd love to have you come, ladies. We'd like to have all of you here. Teenagers are certainly welcome also. And we have many wonderful cooks. Adria is one of them. And to me, that's the hardest job. I come and I get to decorate and make the coffee and all the easy things. But all the ladies that are on that cooking team, would you please stand up? And we want to thank you for doing that for us today. Where are you, ladies? Rayetta, you're one. And Rachel, I... <laughs> and we also have other women on the team who are always helping out, coming together. We laugh a lot at our breakfast and just getting together is great fellowship and it's a good way to meet sisters in Christ. So we want to welcome you to join us during that time. Well, now is an exciting time. We have two more exciting things to talk about. The woman of the year. And it's my privilege to announce the woman of the year today, but first we want to recognize all of the previous women who have had this title and this honor. In 2012, it was Evelyn Morgan. 2013 was Faye Rowan. 2014 was Kim Schuler. 2015 was Margot Tankersley. 2016, Heather Walters. 2017, Christy Rivera. And last year was Joy Coleman. Thank you, ladies. Let's give them a hand.
And now, I have to tell you, first of all, it's really hard to choose. I say this every year. But it's really hard to pick just one lady because you women are so amazing here. You have touched the hearts of so many people. And you do many things that no one even knows about. So I want to say thank you for that. And I appreciate you very much. And I know the pastoral staff does as well. But today, I'm going to call Jean Boyer to the front, please. I know she's probably in shock. Oh, there she is. I didn't even see her. I'm like, well, I hope she's around. I don't think I'd seen her yet today. Stand right up here with Sherry. Let's give her another hand. Okay, Jean. We love you, Jean. Jean has been a member here for about 18 years and has been married to her wonderful husband, who was also man of the year one year. They've been married for 55 years. Isn't that great? That's worth celebrating right there. They have two children, eight grandchildren, and three great-grandchildren. It would be impossible to name everything that Jean does around here and all that she means to us, but I'm going to name a few. Jean radiates love and kindness as she greets those who come through the doors of Praise Assembly. She always seems to be smiling, too. If you've spent much time around Jean, you most likely have heard one of her favorite sayings, gigat. Have you heard her say gigat? I'm going to tell you what it means. God is good all the time. And then she points upward, don't you? When I give Jean a compliment, she's always quick to give God the credit. We all do, Ryan. Jean loves to tell the story of how she and Robert met. When she was only 14, just pictured a little 14-year-old girl on her school bus. The school bus route changed at the end of the school year. There was only one seat left on the bus, and guess who sat next to her? Robert. <laughs> the rest is history, right? Many say that John, not John, Robert and Jean are joined at the hip. And if you see one, look around, you'll probably see the other. And recently I was sitting with Robert and Jean in the cafe. It was just a casual conversation. And I saw Robert kind of look to the side. And he said of Jean, he said, it's been a good life. She was so happy when he said that. So men, there's a clue for all of you. Speak highly of your wife. Let her know how much you appreciate her. It means a lot to hear those words. As Robert says, marriage is not 50-50, it's 110%. Jean is also faithful in our prayer ministry and often calls me when I'm away to check on me. She remembers special anniversaries also. She cares about people. Young and old alike, she loves each one. She demonstrates a genuine heart of compassion. God bless you, Jean, for all that you do and all that you mean to us. We all love you. God bless you. Now, God has blessed me, you know, with all you people and with Jesus. Amen. 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 Thank you, everyone. Now what you've been waiting for, the hat contest. So ladies, if you have a hat on, please come forward. We want to appreciate your adornments today. Come on, ladies. I have to tell you, I am not a hat person. I have one on today, but it belongs to Sherry. Yeah, Adria is wearing Sherry's hat. I'm wearing Sherry's hat, and Sherry's wearing Sherry's hat. I know I'm not a hat person because when I got out of the car, mine blew off and got wet. Wow, these are beautiful. 
Now, our judges are the pastor's wives. So you ladies, please come forward also. I'm going to get out of the way so you can all be seen very easily. Okay, Kathy has agreed to help me out. She always does a great job with the men's tie contest. So she is going to take the microphone and take it from here. So we're going to find out who the winners are. The categories, most glamorous, most creative, and the best Mother's Day theme. And there will be prizes for the winners of each category. Thank you, Kathy. Thank you. This is really hard. <sighs> It's Mother's Day. I want to like just chill and here I've got the pressure, right? We feel the pressure. But these, this is a much bigger um, turnout than I really expected. <laughs> I, was, I was sort of noticing and thinking there's kind of a demographic divide on the creativity amount. Have you noticed? Apparently women over a certain age have time <laughs> for certain things like jacking up their hats. And they're fearless, and uh, you reach a certain age, and I'm right on, on the cusp where you just don't care anymore about anything. Just happy to be you. Um, in fact, I do have a hat, but I'm not quite where you ladies are, where you just kind of make this miraculously happen. I had to order late and pay extra for shipping, because I'm not quite there, but I'm close. Um, so... Um, Right here we have Kathleen, and I asked her, I said, is this something you just had on hand? She said, yes. It was just right in her closet, waiting for the right moment. <laughs> Faye, you have, I mean, we might need to come up closer, our judges, because we've got some details. Faye, tell me what you got going on there. This is a mother's love. It's my children, my grandchildren, and my five great-grandchildren. Okay, turn around, let me see. Boy, she got them all on there. That's beautiful. Has an eight-foot snake skin. Oh Lord! <laughs> your your, your great-grandson has a snake skin in the photo. Oh geez, that's what the boys do. All right. Well, um, very impressed. A mother's love. Very good. And now we have Anita, who I have to say, I think you get credit for incorporating the fly swatter. And the, and the colander. And the colander. Oh, that's a colander. Yes. And, Just. And the measuring. The measuring cups with the little birds. Those are to, to honor the mothers today. I really thought of the old saying, you know, the old saying, use it up, make it do, wear, what's that saying? Wear it out. No, what's the saying? Who knows that old saying? <laughs> Somebody knows it. I don't know. I'm not old enough to realize that. <laughs> use it up, make it do, wear it out, or make it do. Something. Anyway. Apparently, this is just like all on hand, too. Can you turn around and let us see what else is going on in the back? Anything? Oh, we've got like a glorious afterglow of that. Okay, thank you, Anita. I don't know what to say. It's wonderful. It's remarkable. It reminds me of Auntie Mame. Okay, now Dana was a, wearing a stunner. Turn around. I think we need to see. This is just Dana and her, all of her loves, her grandchildren, her children, bless this family, music, Lots of roses. What's at the top there? Okay, family photos. Wonderful. And did you like just pull this out like overnight? No. <laughs> it started as a Kentucky Derby hat. <laughs> you wore it to watch the race? I didn't wear it. Someone else wore it. Oh. Gifted it to me. Tore off the horses and. <laughs> <laughs> We're all thrifty, aren't we? Okay, this is a great hat. Um, yeah, so I'm Deborah. This is one of my mom's hats that oh, I just... Oh, one of your mom's. <laughs> yeah. Mother's Day. Yep. Way to go, Deborah. I'm Kezia. Kezia. I had this in my closet. Yeah. Very nice hat. Kezia? Yeah. Kezia. Hi, I'm Miracle. Miracle. Yeah. Turn around. Got some sparkle on that hat. You get, you get credit for that. Hi, I'm Dorcas. This is one of my mom's hats. <laughs> what good daughters you are. You are fabulous daughters. This makes her happy. You are, you're taking it for mom. You're doing fabulous. Thank you. I'm Esther. Esther. And this is, got, you got something pretty underneath. What's that, is that like a band of yes, the hat? Yes, like a paper. Lovely. Very pretty. Very pretty. What's your name, honey? Mama. <laughs> Putting her under pressure here. All right. That's a nice hat on you, honey. 
Okay, you look very nice. Shade. Shade. Did you have this hat or did you go somewhere and buy it? You had it? It's got this, this part here. The netting is very nice. I was hoping somebody would wear a fascinator. What do we got here? Gloria. Gloria Carnell, it's my family tree. It has my grandparents and me and all my grandchildren and great grandchildren. All right, turn around, let's see. She's got what we think are leaves and very nice <laughs> photos of everyone. All the grandchildren, great grandchildren. Very good, Gloria, very nice. Sharon Brown. Sharon? She just owns cool hats like it, Yeah, this is just, <laughs> I always, there's two women in this church I like to dress like that inspire me, Sharon's one. Yeah, she always looks good. But if there was a prize for sparkly, you would get it. It looks good, that touch. Very nice. All right, Adria? Adria McCall, this is Sherry's hat. She was trying to guarantee participation, so she gave it to me yesterday. And I took it apart, and I added my own stuff. And this is my second Mother's Day without my mama, so I put her brooch on there. Oh, very nice. All right. A little bit of mama with you. She was a good mama. Yeah, the nice thing I was happy to hear about your mom, she was a sweet Adeline singer. It's the only one I ever knew that did that. Isn't that cool? Yeah. We have a fascinator. Uh, Al Saman, this is my leftover um, royalty party hat from work. Oh. So. Where do you work that they do these things? With Heather. <laughs> Heather. Heather. Come on up. Bring your hat. We'll work out something. Somebody has a something. So they do these things at work. What a fun place to work. Very nice. <laughs> Alicia Bolton, my wonderful mother made this for me over the weekend. Oh. Did she know about the contest? She did. Okay. She knows I never wear hats. I wore this a special for today, so. All right. You honored your mom. You did it for mom with the things we do for mom. I called my mom first thing. She was up at 6.30 in the morning. We had a nice long chat. But uh, she's 88. And she'll be here in two weeks. So hopefully you can all say hi to my mom in two weeks. She's coming. We're, we're bringing her. Um, borrowing a walker and all that. Okay, so what do you guys... This is the team. We're going to have to... Oh, who? Dolores. Um, I'm going to give you this job here. This is what everybody gets. Okay. Everybody. Yeah, yeah. Except for the man. Okay. All right, so... We have to do this kind of informally. No, she's going to be giving out all of the prizes for everyone participating. Okay. So what do you think? Let me get my paper. Oh, the pressure. Okay. How we do the announcements right now? There is a pancake Sunday. It will be on the fourth Sunday instead of the third Sunday. But there will still, still be bagels. Why are you laughing? This is serious. Seriously, the announcements. There's a ladies' night out this Thursday night. They, man, they get their own day. They get a night out. I don't know. It's crazy. 5.30 at Bertucci's. Uh, there, uh, let me remind you, tonight there is no service, okay? Uh, we want you to have the time to, to, <laughs> this music, this music's killing me. <laughs> I'm you can leave it on, that's fine. But we want you to be able to enjoy time with your family and, uh, and have no responsibility the rest of the afternoon, so take that time. Also, as a reminder, next Sunday evening is Pastor Burt's uh, second retirement, and we want to come and honor him and uh, him and, and Sister Dolores just for all of their years of service, and uh, we just want to have a great time of celebration, so please plan on being here for that. Also, next Sunday morning during the, the Sunday school hour, uh, there is also going to be, Miss Lucy is going to be holding uh, a children's ministry certification. If you have never been certified to work with children, uh, please make it a point to be there. It is at 9 a.m. It will be completed by that by that uh, hour, and, uh, and you'll be able to uh, follow up on that. Oh, man, <laughs> this is crazy. Uh, the graduate luncheon. Please, if you ha are graduating college, high school, 
go to the website, praisede.org slash grad lunch, and you can fill out all the information on there, where what your plans are for the future, where you're heading, uh, what you graduated from, uh, any detail you can provide us with. And then on June 2nd, we will recognize you and you will go to lunch. And lastly, this morning, we have another new grandbaby for pastor. This is uh, Sebastian Allen. Can we put that up there? Sebastian Allen. He was born on May 6th to Nick and Michelle Petrucci. Eight pounds, four ounces, 19 and a half inches long. I don't know what they're feeding these Petrucci kids, but eight, two, two babies that were eight pounds, four ounces. You don't see that very often. But congratulations. Uh, it, it's a great time, especially if you're, you know, I know um, Mike and Jenny just became first-time parents. Uh, the Vazanellex just came first-time parents. You moms have a, a lifetime of memories ahead of you, and uh, we just want to congratulate you again, and pastor, and uh, two babies in two weeks. That's unbelievable. Praise God. Well, thank you. Thank you for giving us time to kibbutz here. Okay, so I'll give you these, and I will announce them, and you guys can pass them out. Now, everyone, when you leave, everyone that doesn't win a one of these big prizes, which I think is a Wawa gift card or something. <laughs> Go to Dolores and get your pin, okay? Because there's this pin for everyone who participates. All right, so most creative prize winner. It has to go to the woman that incorporated the fly swatter, Anita. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> All right, and Mother's Day theme. We picked Dana. <laughs> There's a lot of competition and it was not easy, guys. It was not. All right, and finally, most glamorous, because of the elegance of the hat and the beauty of the daughters, we picked Esther. <laughs> Yay, most glamorous. Very beautiful. Thank you, everyone. Okay, come down and get your pin. I um, want to say happy Mother's Day to everybody that's a mom. And, uh, you know, it's, it's the toughest job you'll ever love, that they say. And as they say, and um, we're, we're blessed that we get to do that. We're blessed. And we got these young mothers who are not getting any sleep. And Pastor and I were excited for these babies to come. And yet, you know, I had my phone next to me all night waiting for the ding and checking the phone, but we also said, we're going to sleep. <laughs> we didn't just, you know, have to wait up. So it's all on them. So we know it's tough and we're proud of you all for what you go through and how hard it is. You're hardworking, you're wonderful mothers, you're here and raising your families and doing your very best. So congratulations. <laughs>